Hi YouTube! I want to talk to you about washing dishes, uh, what we do, and just a few things that we do to save ourselves money while washing dishes. So washing dishes already, you're saving a ton of money because you're not using a dishwasher. Uh, we don't have a dishwasher, so <laughs> our only option is to wash dishes. A few really great things to have if you are dishwashing is a dishwashing mat. Basically, those are mats you can buy that let air through a little bit more easily so your items dry without having to hand dry them. Or a dishwashing rack, which is really nice. You can put silverware standing up straight. Your plates can stand up straight and things dry more quickly. And oftentimes, there's a, a little area where the water can run off. And again, it's just an easier way to dry instead of hand drying your items. You can also use a towel. Microfiber towels work really great. I've used those. Um, I bought a couple of those at the dollar store for a dollar, so they're 50 cents a piece. Uh, microfiber absorbs the water a little bit more, and uh, you won't get that backup of bacteria as much as you would with just a regular old um, towel. So one thing that's really helped us with washing dishes is this little item right here. This we happen to get at a really good price. It was only a couple of dollars and it's a really good quality one. So uh, I was so happy to get this. Um, it made our dishwashing experience a billion times better. We only paid a couple dollars for ours. Uh, but I, I've seen them around 10 to $15. So they're really not that expensive. Uh, they can go in a straight stream or you pop it open and it does... Uh, uh, you know, the little, the little streams. So you just hook it up on your, your faucet there. It also moves around, as you can see. So that's really nice for if you have a bigger pot that you're washing or you have a bigger sink that you want to get clean really quickly. So this thing is awesome. I really love it. It has really saved me a lot of time and frustration with washing dishes. So uh, another thing that is really nice to have when you're washing dishes are rubber gloves. So these are mismatching ones. I had gotten holes in the, the pairs and so obviously I paired these two together. They're really great to have because anytime your hands are in water a lot, they're going to get dry and they might crack and it could be a really big problem for you. So. Um, these are really nice when you're washing dishes. It's best to wash your dishes on hot. That way you're getting all the bacteria off and another hard thing for your hands. So these, um, I've actually seen, I, I wear size small and I don't see them very often at places that are to cheaper places like the dollar store. But I know that there are gloves at the store dollar store you can get for a dollar. I always watch for sales for these and... I always get them super cheap. I, I think I got a pair one time for 49 cents and they last me a while, a couple of months at least um, the, for the rubber gloves. So get those. I really recommend getting those. It's worth the, if you have to pay $2, it's worth the $2 um, for how it's it's going to save your hands. Another uh, thing you have to have when you're washing dishes is the washing, the uh, the soap. Um, I just happened to get a whole bunch of these. I got a whole bunch of them on sale and then I had coupons so I paid super, super cheap for these. I couldn't even buy them in bulk for how cheap I got a bunch of these. But it's really nice to have the littler bottles. Um, so if you do wash dishes by hand, definitely invest in like a littler bottle or, or reuse one of your old bottles. Um, to, to just keep on the counter when you are physically washing the dishes. That way you can just lift it up and either put it directly on the item that you're washing or on a sponge or a towel, whatever you're using. So I like to use sponges. And the reason why is because it has this kind of harder side and then this softer side and they bend for when you're washing over the glass there. Uh, this sponge... I got two of them for a dollar at the dollar store. They're kind of the nicer sponges. And then I cut them in half. And that's how I use them. So 
For a dollar, the sponge lasts me about six months. And the reason why it lasts me so long is because I use my vinegar spray after every use of, um, after every time I wash my, my dishes. And I just spray on the, the, uh, the vinegar to, to uh, de-germ some of the sponge. So I know a lot of people don't like using sponges, but if, if you spray on vinegar, it does take away a lot of the, the bacteria and it's, they work great for us. And we live in a tropical environment where mold is very easy to grow places. I've also read that if you use a sponge in the morning and a different sponge in, in the evening, your sponges last longer. Uh, I have been doing that just out of instinct, and maybe that's why my sponges last such a long time. I don't know, but I do do quite a bit of dishes, and I feel like my sponges last a long time. So that is my video about washing dishes. I hope it's helped you. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm trying to think. Oh, there's one more thing. So we only have one sink. So when I'm washing dishes with the sponge here, I try to pick out the littlest item that we have. So if it's a tiny bowl or if it's a tiny little plate that needs to be washed, I kind of set that aside. And I, after I, let's say I'm washing a plate, I rinse it off and then I put the plate, you know, down to dry or whatever. Sometimes you have to move around things with both hands. So when I do set down the sponge, I set it in the little bowl or the little plate that I have that way that the water doesn't get everywhere and the soap doesn't get everywhere so that's another little helpful tip and then I just wash the little board the little plate last in addition then I wash my sponge get all the little grimies off of it and then put it put it to dry so I hope that's helped um, I hope you are able to use these tips I wish some of these tips I would have known before I started washing dishes every single day, I probably would have saved myself a little bit of money. It's not a lot of money, but a little bit of money. And uh, uh, click like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, YouTube.